Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA tech tip on N95 respirators. When there's an epidemic, whether from Ebola or avian flu, SARS or H1N1, you'll inevitably hear recommendations to wear an N95 respirator. When you go to buy one, things may get confusing when you see surgical masks and P100s. What's the difference between all these masks? Some people get so confused, they end up buying some scary looking gas mask. Let me start by dispelling the notion that surgical masks offer adequate protection. Surgical masks and other face masks are not respirators. They primarily prevent large droplets from coming out. A surgical mask may be a good option if a contagious person wants to minimize their effect on others. These face masks will provide some protection for large droplets, but because they're loose fitting, they're not designed to stop small particles. How is an N95 different? An N95 is classified as a respirator, unlike surgical masks. In the United States, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH for short, certifies these respirators. So if, you're, if you remember anything from this video, know that a NIOSH certification means you have a respirator, not a surgical mask. Surgical masks are approved by the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. So what does this N95 stand for? The N represents a filter series that signifies it's not resistant to oil-based aerosols, such as lubricants and cutting fluids. Unless you're getting exposed to oils, the N series is just fine. Otherwise, use an R or P series filter. The 95 represents the, rep the respirator's efficiency when tested with an aerosol having a mass mean aerodynamic diameter of about 0.3 micrometers, which is the most penetrating particle size range for most filters. If the store is out of N95s, but they have a P100 mask, is that sufficient? Most definitely. The P-series means it can stop not only particles, but oil-based aerosols as well. The 100 means that it's 99.97% efficient, so it should perform even better than an N95. There's a lot more to respirators, including how best to take them on and off, and how to check to make sure you have a proper seal. To make matters even more complex, in occupational settings, there are important requirements such as fit testing, medical evaluations, and respiratory protection programs. If you'd like to learn more about N95s and other respirators, consider taking the one-hour IAQA University class titled Personal Protective Equipment. Visit the IAQA website for more information.